Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I want to help you to create an awesome preloader animation in Webflow. You've already seen the animation at the beginning of this video and I can assure you that it's super easy. So without any further talking, let's do it. So we are in the Webflow project and the first thing you want to do is to place a div block outside of any section. You can for example just place it under the body like this. Um, I'll call it preloader. Preloader. Then you can just um, set its position to fixed and select the last option of full so it will cover the whole screen. And then give it a ridiculously high Z index so that it's so to make sure that it's over every, any other element. Now select the background color. I'll go for this blue. Now you can select your um, elements that you want to place inside. In my case, I want to place two uh, different text blocks inside it. I'll put the text blocks inside of a div block that I'll call content wrapper. So I'll just call it content um, preloader content. And now to center every element inside of the preloader, you can just select flexbox. And I want to have it vertical so that it's stacked over each other like this. And now I can style it. Um, I will just change the font to change a one. And I will set the typography color to white. On the first text block, I want to call it preloader heading and I'll make the text size um, 170 pixels and then I will make the height one point dash. This looks pretty bad because there's so much text inside. I will just um, type in hey in caps. And for the second text block, preloader subtitle. And here it would be good if you center it, uh, center align it, the content, the text. I will make it preloader. This is a preloader, just so that you know. And I will make the font size 30 pixels and then I will decrease the opacity to 80% so it doesn't take that much attention from the hay. Okay so when you're done with styling we come to the more important part of the actual thing but before this make sure to set the display to hidden you just have to do this because otherwise you wouldn't be able to properly style your other content because the preloader would just be over every other element that you have. So set it to display none and we will tackle this problem in a second. We go to the interactions menu and there we can add a page trigger uh, on page load. We want to start an animation when the page starts loading. And I'll just create a new animation and I'll call it preloader. And then um, with the preloader selected, we will show it on the initial state. That's not in the initial state right now, but if you check this up, this little option here, it's the initial state. That's the setting to start with, but uh, not on the designer preview. So you can still style any element normally. If we make this flexbox, you will see that it just inherited all the values that we had on our flexbox before, before we change it to display none. And we also want to create a fade out uh, animation when the page, uh, when the preloader disappears. And to create this, we will make the opacity 100% on the initial state. And then on another time mark, we can just 
create a new opacity a value of 0% so we want to have it uh, at 0% but we don't want the fade out to begin to begin immediately and to achieve this we will add a delay of 1 second and we want the duration to be something like uh, 0.4 seconds um, the fade out um, you can just apply an easing um, I will go for ease out so now it would end at 140 and when it ends just select with the preloader selected again you can just set the display back to hide so that it's just gone so that it doesn't affect any other interactions on your page so that's basically it now um, we can check if the animation is working in our preview mode and it seems like it's uh, working pretty well. If you want to make any changes on your preloader, you can just set it back to flex, but don't forget to set it back to uh, display none after. Here you can just, for example, if we have the preloader content selected, I will just move it up a little bit by adding a bottom margin of 10% so that it's a little bit higher. And as I mentioned before, when we're done with styling, just uh, make the display hidden again. And now if we check it, it's working. You can do whatever preloader, whatever type of preloader animation you want. Just tell me if, uh, if you want me to create a video on the different types of preloaders. I hope I was able to help you with this tutorial. If that's the case, it would be awesome if you could leave a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any new videos. If you have a question, as always, just ask in the comments. See you soon and have a nice day.